You are listening to the Brilliant Events and Venues podcast, the podcast for savvy event professionals who want to learn unique ways to engage attendees at events, cool places to host them, and everything in between. Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to episode 20 of the Brilliant Events and Venues podcast. My name is Shantae, and I'm the project manager for Scavenger. And today's topic is creative ways to engage attendees at virtual events. Now, if you have any part in the planning of virtual events, then this show is definitely for you. But before we get into that, we do have a few items to cover before we get into the topic for this show. I'm first going to share the motivational quote for this episode, as well as give a recap of episode 19. Here is the motivational quote for episode 20 of the Brilliant Events and Venues podcast. The journey begins when you take the first step. Courage, optimism, determination, and enthusiasm are the tools that will help you along the way. Let me say that one more time. The journey begins when you take the first step. Courage, optimism, determination, and enthusiasm are the tools that will help you along the way. And that was written by yours truly. If you missed episode 19 of the Brilliant Events and Venues podcast, make sure to go and check it out. I had the opportunity to host Herb Carlitz on the Fireside Chat. And Herb is the CEO and founder of Carlitz & Company, an industry leader in designing and marketing globally recognized events. Here is a clip from that show. In marketing, and but I learned that's what it, everything we do was about, even to the point of the, being involved in some of the biggest events ever. If you remember, Shantae, do you remember USA for USA for Africa? We yeah. are the world. So, so the ba- so there was a, not a backlash, but and I was there for the film for the filming of that wow. production of that. It was the it was the, the night after the American Music Awards in LA when they had all the formers there and it was so now they got, I got the poster and everything. Wow, so I got the original cool. negatives. Uh from that. But the but the American um uh commentary about that was what about all the what about all the starving people here in the here in the US? And what are we gonna do about them? Because there's also issues Herb shared some great information for hosting virtual events that you will not want to miss. So after listening to this episode, go to scanvengerhunt.biz and listen to that episode as well as previous episodes of the Brilliant Events and Venues podcast. All right, everyone, let's get into today's show where I share creative ways to engage attendees at your virtual events. Now, this came about because I've been getting asked this question, so I thought, let's do a show about it. Then I can share with everyone what I found and what I think that would work for engaging attendees at virtual events. So this is what I came up as I was thinking about this. And here are some things to keep in mind when it comes to creative ways to engage attendees. So here's what I have. One, shareable content. And I'm going to go into depth into these after I list them all. Two, trivia. Three, engage your sponsors. Four, video versus non-video activities. And number five, track and measure. Now, from the perspective of the attendees, sitting in front of a computer for hours over the period of three to four days or maybe even more in some cases, might seem like a bit much to them, but you can help to make the events engaging for them. So let's take a deeper look into the five points mentioned previously. So first I mentioned shareable content. Now shareable content can be anything from images to video to audio. So have a scavenger hunt and have the attendees do something where they have to find certain things on a list given to them by the facilitator and make something out of it. Take a photo and upload it to the virtual conference platform. Or you could do something like have a cooking show or 
where the participants make a certain dish and share photos of their creation. You can even mail the meal kits to them prior to the event. Now, I got this idea from Herb Carlitz from episode 19, but this is cool because they'll have all of the ingredients they need to make the dish prior to getting started. So everyone has everything they need. Now, you can learn more about that in episode 19 of the Brilliant Events and Venues podcast. The next item I mentioned was trivia. Yes, everyone loves trivia. Trivia is very popular and people, they just love it. So have a trivia game during your virtual conference and let the fun begin. Our platform, Scavenger Hunt, does provide gamification that includes trivia. Actually, we call it Scan Trivia, and it has been used all over the world. It is fun, easy to use, and is an excellent revenue generator for your organization. You can learn more at scavengerhunt.biz. Also, request a demo. We'd be happy to give one to you. Number three. Engage your sponsors. Sponsors are paying for exposure. Now you can increase the exposure for sponsors and increase the revenue for your event. So you can highlight a favorite charity also. That's something else you can do. You can combine the exposure for your sponsors and also highlight a favorite charity. Attendees can do something like make a donation and you can reward them with gifts and recognition for doing so. You can also list your sponsors when certain events happen, or maybe you can have the banners throughout the event and maybe have something fun, like a really cool pre-recorded animation that a sponsor has done and maybe give the attendees some points for viewing the video. There's just different ways that you can be creative with engaging your sponsors. Number four. Video versus non-video activities. Not everyone is comfortable with being on camera. So have an activity that is inclusive. Have a contest for the most creative avatar, for example. Now, as we all know, these are shown when the attendees do not have their cameras enabled. So this allows for people to still participate without feeling the awkwardness of having their camera on. Now, for those who are not camera shy, encourage them to come up with a really cool themed virtual background. Keeping the theme in line with the virtual event will help to drive the brand and enhance the overall experience. And the same goes for the avatar images. Just keeping the brand or the theme of the event in mind for the attendees, then that would be a lot of fun. And finally, Number five, track and measure. Have something that can be measured. Polls, for example, page visits to sponsors or to exhibitor pages if you have that. Also, track the hyper-concentrated dwell time and then reward attendees with recognition during the event for visiting the exhibitor pages, for example, if you have a virtual expo hall. Then you can have a prize drawing for those that participated for gift cards and or other small electronics, such as the Apple Watches, which are really popular, and Bluetooth speakers. People love those things, especially in the spring and summertime. I hope that you have found this information helpful and useful, and hopefully that it got the creative juices flowing and sparked some ideas of how you can engage your attendees in a creative way at your virtual events. And remember the quote for today. The journey begins when you take the first step. Courage, optimism, determination, and enthusiasm are the tools that will help you along the way. Thank you for tuning in to episode 20 of the Brilliant Events and Venues podcast. Until next time. Increase attendee engagement at your events with Scavenger's game-based mechanics. Learn more at scavengerhunt.biz or give us a call at 800-975-5161.